So I use the cold milk method to feed my bottle babies and it's controversial. Some people agree with it, some people don't. Um, I do it because I don't have a lot of extra time or a lot of help all the time like to help me feed all these bottle babies. So I just try to keep the buckets full and let them eat throughout the day uh, kind of in a more natural state like they nurse off their mom several times a day in smaller amounts so I've never really tried this with the buckets um, in the pens all day I have fed them cold milk before but it's been um, usually the babies after they're a month old and um, I would just put enough in the buckets to feed the six on the bucket. So I did a lot of reading about it and I decided I was going to try it and I have um, 22 or 23 on the bucket. 22 I think on the buckets. Maybe 21. I don't know. A lot. Anyway, and so I feed them the cold milk and I have to put ice in the buckets, uh, ice bottles in the buckets to keep it cold. And I have um, one pen of eight and one pen of 13. The pen of eight is older and they eat more and my bucket is not big enough. So I'm in the process of getting a bigger bucket. And then I can probably add a couple over there. The pen of 13 are the younger ones and they eat, they don't eat as much, but they eat as much. So they eat their bucket full, but it's split up between the 13 of them. I don't know if that makes sense, but anyway, um, so I'm trying this to see how it goes. It's still, um, it's still, I believe it's easier than making bottles all day long and feeding each individual goat a bottle. And they would only get fed so many times a day when, if I just gave them a bottle. Uh, this way they can go nurse and have a few drinks and feel good and go lay in the sun or play or whatever they do. Um, so I'll show you my process. Hi everyone, I'm going to attempt to show you how I make milk for my bottle babies uh, in my bathroom and it's the bathroom is not very wide so it's really hard for me to um, find a place to put the camera so I can show you so bear with me I'm using a milk replacer so I'll show you how my morning goes of making the first round of uh, milk for the babies. All right, this is the milk replacer that I'm using. It's the Land of Lakes Doze Mat. This is a 25 pound bag and it lasts me about two and a half days. I like the 50 pound bags, but they're hard to get. So I've been trying to find a place to order them in locally so I can just pick them up because shipping seems to be really expensive on these things. Okay, so I bought a gallon pitcher uh, I can put three cups of milk in there and the water that goes with it and I mix it and I bought a stick blender. Uh, makes my life easier to be able to do this. And then I fill milk jugs and this is what my bathroom counter looks like. <laughs> and the other sink. And eventually these will all be full. And then I'll put them, what I don't use for the first feeding this morning, I'll put in the refrigerator. Uh, the first feeding usually takes uh, about four to five gallons of milk. And then after that, I just, I use a cold feeding method. So the milk's cold and I put it in the refrigerator. And then um, I refill the jugs throughout the day and I take it out to the goats the babies uh, several times a day and I and since our weather is getting into the 70s they have ice bottles in their milk buckets 
And so I take milk out, take milk ice bottles out, replace it several times a day. Or refill it. I replace the ice bottles and refill the milk. But I'll see if I can kind of show you what I do. Alright, so first I get some warm water. And I try to only use warm enough water uh, to make the milk mix. And I take uh, the allotted water from my milk, pour it in my pitcher. Then I just put my milk in. I use three cups of milk. The rest of my water in. I, didn't, I don't put it all in. And then I start the refill on. Oh, I gotta wash the milk off my hands. Start the refill on. This will be as cold as water as the tap has. I can see if the um, if there's any lumps in it, and there's not. So then I'll put the rest of my water in. And then I will find a container. And then I just, whoops, not a very good pour. <laughs> and I just fill these up. And I have a variety of containers, but I prefer ones with handles. That way it's easier because I um, don't take my buckets down during the day. So it's easier to lean over the fence and pour the milk in the buckets with the lid um, just partially opened and fill them with um, fill them with the milk with a jug with a handle. And then I just repeat this process and till I have enough milk. Till all my containers are full and then I will take some out and then I will put the rest in the refrigerator, get the ice bottles and actually I don't put the ice bottles in the first one because I usually drink that one fairly quickly and then when I refill it the second time which as soon as they're done with the first one I refill it and I just repeat this process till I'm done was telling me a story because I was complaining about mixing all this milk and how long it takes which was that was before I bought the stick blender and the gallon pitcher and I was mixing it in like a shaker and I could only do a little bit at a time like one cup at a time anyway my husband I was telling him and he said that he knew a guy that raised uh, bottle caps and he had converted an old washing machine into a, a milk mixer so he would put a, all his milk and water in the washing machine somehow and then he would uh, take the have it drain when it hit the drain cycle and drain into a like a 50 gallon barrel or some big thing that had a tap on it so then he could fill his milk jugs. I don't know if he was, I'm assuming he was feeding bottles, but he could have been buckets, but anyway, in from the barrel. So
So I was like, that was a cool idea, but I hope I never have to mix that much milk every time. If I do, I'm buying a milk machine, like a lac, what are they called? Lactate, lactate, uh, I don't know, think about that. All right, this is what uh, five gallons of milk looks like. And I got my ice bottles. And I used this little garden cart to tote it from the house to the barn. So now I'm gonna just fill up the bucket. This is the bucket I used. I wish I had bought the bigger one, knowing I was gonna, if I'd have known I was gonna have the, as many bottle babies as I do, I would have bought the bigger one. All right, it's a little bit of a struggle with only six nipples on the bucket and eight bottle babies in here. But they seem to work it out. And eventually somebody will get full and move on. And as you can see, they are a little aggressive sometimes, but they're growing good. Alright, it's a little bit of a feeding frenzy here for a few minutes because there's a lot in this pen. Um, some of them are getting big enough I can move them, split them up one more time, but I don't have my, another bucket yet. But I am going to get one because I can't raise this many on these small buckets, so I think the next one I get, uh, I think I'll get the, the, I don't know if they're what size they are but this one holds two gallons of milk so and the other one's big so i would have to look and see the size of it but it's the one bigger but in a few minutes they will um some of them will get enough to eat and then they'll move on and then the rest will eat And it's generally only like this first thing in the morning because I fill it um, about 9, 10 o'clock at night. And so some of them nurse on it during the night, some of them don't. But uh, first thing in the morning, they are always the hungriest. And then the rest of the day, I just keep it full so they can um, eat whenever they desire. It hasn't been very long, and these guys are pretty much done, so now I better check and see if they have any milk left. Alright, jump down. And they still have a little in there, I don't know if you can see, but there's a little milk in there, so they didn't eat it all. So I'll put the ice bottles in this one and refill it. Ice bottles are in. And now I'll put the milk in. Alright, so I refilled it, put the ice bottles in, and when you refill it, I can only get about a gallon and a half of milk in. So I um I have to do it more often. So I have alarms set on my phone for every few hours so I can come and check it and see how the ice bottles are doing and if they need replaced and hi guys! So I'm hoping with a bigger bucket, I can use, uh, put more milk in and more ice bottles and not have to check it quite as often. But they all seem to be doing good. a little more free time in my schedule not really but kind of so I can get some other little things done so I think what I'm going to do is uh, hang this bucket on the side of this somehow um, I think before I use 
twine and one of those little carab carabini snaps, whatever they're called, one of those little clip snaps. And then a bungee cord. And so it's up a little higher and maybe they won't climb on it as much because I don't like it when they get climb on it and get it all dirty and they're going to start figuring out how to jump out of this pen shortly. So, And that's where I like to feed their hay at back there, but they can't really get to it very good with the bucket in front of it. So hopefully today I will get that moved.